Good morning, everyone. It's Lori. I know I'm at a different angle this morning, but I want to really show what we're doing here. And today we're going to do a little ritual that um, ends a relationship or marks the ending of a divorce or a long-term relationship. This is, there's nothing uh, bad about this. There's no malice. Um, this is just releasing those energetic cords that maybe have kept us tied to this person where we can fully let go. Uh, this is about releasing with peace and harmony so that we can let go and begin again with renewed feelings. Uh, so you will need a larger candle. White is fine to use and two smaller candles. You will need a twine or ribbon or thread um, and of course a lighter to light your candles. A fireproof dish I like to keep near me so if something does uh, go a little haywire I have something to throw the fire in. So of course I like to always cleanse my space first so you can do that with a sage, a cedar, um, a cinnamon incense, you know, whatever your cleansing method is, clean the space so that it's got good, clean energy. You can cast a circle now if that is what you do in your practice. I like to do circles. It kind of sets the tone for me. So of course I would light, I'm going to not do that though for this demonstration, but you would light your, your Palo Santo or your sage or your rosemary, whatever you're using to cleanse. Um, you can use that as well to cast your circle. You can energetically cast your circle. Um, I like to use Palo Santo and extend my arm out in front of me and walk physically in a circle. Um, I walk clockwise to do that until my circle is closed. And that kind of sets my my mental state so that I can begin my spell work. Circle is not necessary, uh, but I like to do so. Anywho, moving on. We are going to light the center candle. Hi, doggo. We're going to light... <laughs> You're making it very hard to work here. I don't want to pet you while I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the camera here because I've been at a weird angle, but he's nosing my hand so I can pet him. Anywho, moving on. Koda, I'm trying to do a spell here. All right, so we're going to light the center candle. And as this is lit, you will say, the bonds between us were strong, but now the link is gone. And peace and harmony, we both go. Once that is done, you will take both of your candles, which each of these represents the person in the relationship. You will light one candle, and for the first one, you will say, you live apart from me, but still in harmony. The second one, you will light the candle, and you will say, I live apart from you, and peace be renewed. You will hold the two ends of your thread in the middle candle. You will hold this over the flame and you will say, the bonds between us were strong, but now the link is gone. In peace and harmony, You will do that until it breaks. This is why you have the fireproof dish available so that you can throw your ribbon or your string or whatever it was in the bowl to extinguish 
your ribbon. So don't catch things on fire. Once that is out and contained, because you want to pay attention to the flame, as I said, you don't want to close your eyes and, and not pay attention to that burning. Once that is separated, you will say, the flame of love fades away, and so we must go our separate ways. With gratitude for the good times we share, peace and harmony. So it is said, so it shall be. You will sit and meditate on this for a while. And you will feel lighter, freer, a sense of closure. You will feel peace and harmony wash over you with no ill feelings towards one another. You will be grateful for the time you had together and for the lessons learned. Feel at ease. Feel that this was the last part tying you together and those ties have now been broken. So what you will do now is meditate on this as long as you need to. Make sure that you really are feeling that bond is gone. If you feel it is not, you can take the rest of your rope and repeat this again. You may have to do this a few times, especially if you are in a long-term relationship. You will let these two candles on the ends burn out on their own. So again, make sure you have time to do this. Or you can use two birthday candles because those are smaller and they don't take as long to burn out. These candles probably take about 30 minutes. So if you don't have that amount of time, again, either make the time to do this spell properly or use birthday candles because it takes less time for those two to, to burn out. If you have any rope left at the end of this, these can get tossed in the garbage or you can go outside and bury them in your garden. But that is it. The spell is to end a relationship energetically in peace and harmony. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you if you needed this type of help. And until next time, remember, live love and magic. Take care everyone.